we sing the song of a railroad and of a great empire, beautiful and bountiful Northwest. What boy has heard that siren song and not been moved by its melody? And not only little is. As a man is many-sided, so too a railroad is many things. It can be a hotel, for example, a luxury hotel on wheels called the Empire Builder. A railroad, then, is a carrier of men. But it carries the products of man as well, moving the bounty of his fields and forests, his mines and factories linking together the effort of far-separated areas with bands of steel. This, then, is the song of the Great Northern Railway and the Great Northwest, that land of growing abundance that lies between the Great Lakes and the Pacific Ocean, the tier of states on the northern boundary of our nation. Now, it is a unique fact that the story of this empire and the story of its railroad are a chronicle one and the same. For the backbone of this empire is steel, steel rails that probed ever farther westward and northward through new frontiers. And around this spine of steel was laid the flesh of life. We begin with an explorer's eye view of the wonderful wilderness as it was a little more than a century ago. The broad prairie, the endless prairie, mother of men. And farther west, the vaulting mountain ranges, whose eternal snows fed countless streams which endlessly poured their substance into swift running rivers. Great stands of pine and cedar and fur, a land grandly fashioned by convulsive thrusts from an inferno of volcanoes whose ashes covered the earth, by raging seas under which it lay for countless ages, by the age of ice whose glaciers receded and came again, readying the earth for its most precious fruits. This was the great Northwest Ascension.